Hey everybody, this is uh, going to be one of the videos showing off the 100 pounds of locks that I got. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at a few of them. So I got 10 laid out and uh, like I said, I'll basically just tell you what I know about them and we'll go from there. Starting off with this little guy, I think he's a master number 5. Oop, nope, it's number 1. If you can read that. Try to get a good... There it is. Number 1. So... Looks like an old one. Looks like it's been used a lot. It's got a Curtis key. Um, I'm guessing it works. Yep, works. So, match lock number one with a aftermarket key. It works. Got a Sergeant Greenleaf. I think these are 8077s. But um, this guy is combination lock. I tried the two default combinations I talked about in my other videos with it and it didn't open, so it must have a random combination. So, uh, needless to say, it's probably gonna get sold without combination, because <laughs> I don't know anything about cracking these. Um, but anyway, uh, kind of a different logo than the one I already have, and uh, and it says Rochester, New York, but I don't know if it's newer or older, it says patent pending on it, so pretty cool luck. Uh, Yale Junior Disc Tumbler, uh, made in USA. It's a pretty big lock, pretty, pretty big heavy lock, but it's got a disc, disc uh, tumbler cylinder in it. Pretty cool. Uh, here's a Slaymaker Rustless, and I think it's got keys. Yeah, it's got keys. So, maybe? No. Must not have a, oh wait, here's another set of Slaymaker keys. Let's see if one of these is it. Nope. All right, so no keys for that. Got another sleigh maker. Really good shape. That you, you don't really see the finish on those shackles that often. So both warded. So not too excited about those, but cool locks nonetheless. I got this warded. Looks like it might even be broken. Sherlock, S-H-U-R-L-O-C-K, or L-O-C, I'm sorry. And uh, looks like it was priced at a, a uh, antique store or something like that. But brass body and probably... Really thin sheet metal or something like that. Neat shackle. Uh, it's open, so I'm guessing it's either broken or it works, but just a ward lock doesn't take much to open those. Got this True Value lock. Uh, or, that used to be a hardware store around here. I don't see it as often anymore. I don't know if they got bought or whatever, but anyway, it's a made in China lock. It says it's patented though, but uh, just probably something they sold, you know, at their at their stores, protective cover on it, and it's even got a patent for the cover, so neat little lock. Uh, probably a four pin, you know, master lock cylinder, you know, master lock, big master lock cylinder. Anyway, I uh, got this Eagle warded. It's kind of cool. It's got really neat design on it on the front and back. Kind of makes a cool design on the, the bottom of the lock. But uh, made in USA, it's marked made in USA. No key for it, or that I found yet, so. Pretty cool eagle warded. It seems like it's made out of steel or something, pop metal. Got a ace warded lock. Looks like it's got a pretty neat keyway for a warded lock. Um, it's unlocked, I guess. <laughs> but uh, probably isn't too difficult to get into. But anyway, that's an ace warded lock. Seems like the body's made out of brass. I uh, don't see any other writing on it. So, ace warded lock. Now, master lock. Uh, I didn't have any of these with a key in the back, so I'm excited. I think I got a couple of these in there. I went through them all when I got them, but um, anyway, it's got a coat on the back. Maybe I can get a combo for it, or I can pick it open and look down there in there with a flashlight or something, but run's kind of tough. Might need a lube job or something, but anyway, it's pretty old. Looks pretty old, um, so that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that logo style. But old master lock, combination lock. All right, so that's our 10 locks for today. And uh, like I said, I'll do 10 more next time I get a chance. But uh, like I said, there was a lot of a lot of gems and a lot of junk in there. And uh, and I'm learning about some locks that I never heard of before, so or never saw before or anything like that. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, come back and see what else we got. Uh, this is the first one. Like I said, I'll be making a lot more. <laughs> so uh, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.